Hello and welcome back to Southern TV, where we go above and beyond to find all of the trendiest stories surrounding the South African borders and share them with you. Now, before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to turn on that notification bell so you can get all of our recent updates. Without further ado, let's dig in. Public Enterprises Minister Pravin Gordon has made a significant announcement indicating his retirement from politics following the upcoming elections, marking the end of an era in the South African governance. This decision coincides with the ANC convening a special National Executive Committee session to finalize its roster for candidates slated to serve in Parliament and provincial legislatures. Gordon's retirement announcement aligns with similar declarations from other prominent figures within the ANC, including Minister of International Relations Naledi Pandor and Speaker Nosivio Emapisa Kakula, who have also expressed the intention to step away from political life after the polls scheduled for May 29. Reports from Business Day confirm Gordon's retirement plans, reflecting his firm decision to disengage from active political participation. Notably, Gordon declined a nomination to serve in the National Executive Committee during the ANC's last conference held in Nasrik in December 2022, signaling a gradual disengagement from political politics. Gordon's political career spans over a decade beginning in 2009 when he assumed the role of Finance Minister under the administration of then-President Jacob Zuma. It was under the leadership of President Cyril Ramaphosa that Gordon was reinstated, this time as the Minister of Public Enterprises, a position that he has held until his decision to retire. Despite his tenure being marked by significant achievements and challenges, Gordon has faced recent scrutiny, particularly surrounding the sale of the South African Airways to the Takaso Consortium. Allegations of corruption surfaced with former Director General Gatazzo Tlakudi accusing Gordon of involvement in dubious dealings. The deal itself was shrouded in secrecy, prompting questions and concerns from members of the Portfolio Committee on Public Enterprises. During a meeting with the committee, Gordon requested that proceedings be conducted in camera, citing a sensitivity of commercially classified information. This move raised eyebrows and further intensified scrutiny surrounding the South African Airways deal. In response, the committee enlisted the expertise of Parliament's legal advisor to scrutinize the documents provided by Gordon, underscoring the gravity of the situations and the need for transparency and accountability in public enterprises. As the committee prepares to reconvene, lingering questions and uncertainties loom over and intricacies of the South African Airways deal, highlighting the complexities and challenges inherent in managing state-owned enterprises. Gordon's impending retirement adds another layer of complexity to the political landscape, signaling a transition period and potential shifts in government dynamics. As South Africa navigates these transitions, the legacy of figures like Gordon will undoubtedly shape the trajectory of the nation's political tenure. For this and much more from Southern TV, be sure to leave your comment about the matter in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more updates.